What's up, Deacon Universe? Welcome back to another episode of Draco Journey Master Ball, where I use rental teams to try and reach a Master Ball team. Master Ball tier, I should say. <laughs> um, today we got a pretty cool team. It's actually a team I actually I think it's pretty cool. It's got um, some uh, Gen 1 Pokemon, and I, being an original Gen 1 player, way back in the day, I have a soft spot for Gen 1, uh, especially like RK9 and Gengar, because they were particularly hard to actually come across in the very beginning. I mean, Gengar especially, because the only way to ever get Gengar is to trade, which isn't the case nowadays. I mean, Pokemon has come so far, especially with Sword and Shield being able to literally just go to the wild area, area and catch any Pokemon, and then with, you know, <coughs> hyper training and all that stuff, any Pokemon can become a, a good Pokemon to battle with, so. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Sorry. So, this team, like I said, it has two Gen 1 uh, Pokemon. So, like I said, I got a soft spot for those, uh, being Arcanine and Gengar. Um, as far as the builds on those, uh, Arcanine's holding that Air Balloon. It's got Flare Blitz, Close Combat, will o -Wisp to Burn, and Wild Shard. So, he's going to do some damage. Um, and then the Gengar, same thing. Shadow Ball, Sludge Bob Thunder, Ally Switch, which is actually pretty cool. I think I've actually used Gengar with Ally Switch, so maybe we can just switch it up and totally mess with some people there. Now it is holding a Life Orb, so it's going to hit a little harder. So it's more of an attacker versus a uh, Disruptor or a Support Mon. Um, and then you go, we'll go we'll jump back up to the um, Raichu, which is the Alolan Raichu form, which is another form of Gen 1, which is why I think it's pretty cool. Um, still Raichu being a Gen 1 Mon, um, and then uh, this form, they changed it up. Now he's Electric Psychic, which is pretty cool. And he knows Rising Voltage, Psychic Nuzzle, which is going to paralyze and fake out for some disruption, holding the magnet to make that Nuzzle and Rising Voltage as strong as possible. Um, and then we're going to jump over here to Tapu Koko, which he is going to be the... Um, the electric surge setter, so he's going to get that electric train up and uh, making Raichu super fast with the uh, surge surfer, which doubles his speed, I believe. Um, it ups his speed when he's on electric train. Uh, and then the Taco Coco is holding the electric seed, which is going to up his defense one stage. And then we jump down to Landorus, who is holding the scarf. Um, so whatever move you're going to pick, it's going to lock him into, it is Intimidate, as long as, and also Arcanine is Intimidate, so this team actually runs a double Intimidate, which is pretty cool. Um, so, like I said, with the Choice Scarf, it's going to lock you into whatever move you pick, but it does have some pretty good moves, and if you are ever locked into a Choice move, you can actually G-Max to get out of that Choice, uh, lock-in, but that is what it is. Um, and if you're going to use them, you might... You're probably just going to G-Max this Landorus right away, so you won't get locked in anyways. Um, and then we jump down to Tornadus with the Prankster ability and the Focus star Scarf. So he's going to be able to take a hit and keep on ticking for at least one extra turn. Unless he's double dipped him or like Hail or uh, Sand takes him out or something like that. But anyways, he's got Air, air Slash Tailwind for some speed control, Heat Wave, and Scary Face for more speed control. So. This guy's gonna give you speed control for everyone you're on. So basically, you're either gonna probably, when I was practicing earlier, um, I was either starting with Tornadus um, and pairing him with one of the other three mons, uh, Arcanine, Landorus, or Gengar, or I was doing the start with Tapu Koko and Raichu. So we'll see how the battles play out. We're gonna jump in and get into a couple of um, our battles here. Talk so long it made me scream tonight. So we are going to look for it. We're going to search for our first battle. And always remember, uh, if you do enjoy the content content on this channel, leave me a like and smash that subscribe button. And don't forget to check out the DK Trading Facebook group, um, which I will have a link below. And I will also have the link below where I picked up this team from. So you guys can check out the original video with the team where I got the team from. And we will search for our first battle. All right. Looks like we have ourselves an opposing trainer. Hmm. So. Uh, 
I mean, Rillaboom, Incineroar, Dragapult. Oh, I can never remember the Tapus off the top of my head. That's Tapu Lele, I think. Raichu, and then uh, the Swords of Justice Pokemon. I don't remember his name either. So, but we're definitely going to go... Uh, Thunderous. And then... Is it Arcanine for the Intimidate and the Fire moves? Is it? Yeah, it is. And then uh, Coco and Raichu in the back, I think. I think so. I think so. Hmm. Yeah, that's, I mean, this is what we're going to have to do. See if we can't get up some of these wins. So right now we are actually in the still in the great bolts here, I think. Uh, which is fine. I mean, the whole point of these videos is just to use rental teams to try and see if we can even get to Master Ball. I'm not sure if I sat down and studied and did all of that stuff. Figured out a great team. So this guy's gonna have beat up. Ah, shoot. I have no way of stopping. Oh, I should have realized that off the top of my head. Oh no. Oh, okay. I really think Tailwind. Okay. And then we're gonna. Ha uh, this might be our only chance here. What's the, what's the max max up of super strong up max up? Okay. I still say we flare blitz. Because he's gonna get that beat up. Oh, I should have brought the Raich. Oh, I couldn't even have faked him out because of the ghost. Oh, so that's a good setup up for the beat up setup. Because fake out is one of the easiest ways to stop beat up or the redirection, which I don't have any actual follow me or anything. But they're gonna use beat up. It's gonna up. The um, Brizion, I think that is. I gotta see his name out. I'll say off the top of my head. Forty-five minutes of G Max animation. <laughs> yeah. So, Colbillon, whatever. Tailwind. So. Let's see, are we faster? Okay, with the Tailwind we are faster. So, if we drop this guy with one hit, which it's not gonna do, it's fine. Turned harsh. Yeah, there's the beat up. Attack Rose. So is it four? Plus three because I intimidated him. Right? I think so. It does put him low, so if we can survive an attack by him, we could actually potentially die miserably. Oh, he's gonna hang on? That was awesome. Okay. So now, I think I'm the scary face. I don't know who's going to be faster now because of the Tailwind. But, check this out. Scary face. Drop your speed back down. And then... We max flare again. And the sun's up. Too. So yeah, let's see. I just don't want him going first. I was just talking about ally switch and stuff like that. <laughs> then he ally switches me. Wow. That's unfortunate. Max Rothball. 
into Arcanine. Yeah, there's see the beat up. That beat up combination is so it's, it's good. I love it. I gotta get my hands on a beat up team. I have one that I actually said that I built. Maybe I'll feature it. Um, maybe. Thinking about it. I'm definitely thinking about it now. And the sandstone is gonna clear the board from the tish. Let's see here. Should have brought. I definitely should have brought Gengar. It would have been better Gengar because of the ghost that's across from him. That didn't work, man. It happens. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna. I really think the game's over for us. I really do. I feel another allies for some reason. Even if the ally switches, I'm gonna do an ally switch. Oh, I should have doubled up. I knew I should have doubled up. Oh, I should have doubled up. Should have doubled up into him. That's okay. That steel spike is going to destroy the Coco. Now it's Raichu versus the world. <laughs> Hmm. Should have doubled up. Should have doubled up. Well, that was just some awesome misplay by me. The ally switch, I, I couldn't do anything about the ally switch. That is what it is on that one. But. Yeah. Incineroar. So, I mean, some key misses and stuff, sure. <clears throat> Maybe we'll take out Cobellion. Oh, he's gonna fake me out. Dang it. Well, yeah, we just misplayed um, on that. I was expecting an ally switch, and he did an ally switch. So I don't think it was a misplay. I think it was just, uh, uh yeah, he just, yep, <laughs> and GG to my opponent, for sure. Um, so yeah, we're just going to get right into the um, second battle of the video. All right, so it looks like we got ourselves another opponent. It's got that Sun Core with the Venusaur Charizard Torkoal, got an Intimidate. With the uh, Landorus, Grimstone for screen supports and all that good stuff. Maybe even a trick with a lagging tail. And then the Reggie Lucky to follow it up. Now, I would, my opponent, I'd probably do a Grimmsnarl, Lando, and then maybe Torkoal and Charizard, or Torkoal and Venusaur. So, I'm definitely go Tailwind again. And then again. Yeah. Let's do this. Bring out Gengar. Problem with Gengar is this, he's a glass cannon. So he hits really hard. Um, but if he gets hit, he's gonna die. And then Coco, can you Arcanine in the back? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I think this is it, because 
He brings Venusaur. Arcanine in the back would be good. But, we will see. That's what I thought he was going to start with. Really is who I thought he was going to start with. Okay. So, here's the thing. Prankster ability over there. He's going to get a screen up. For sure. I'm going to Tailwind. Do we just Sludge Bomb? Because in all honesty, I'm not a big fan of G-Max, Gengar. He's just not that great. So I think a Sludge Bomb into Green Star. Landers is obviously a huge problem. Yeah, especially because they're going G-Max first turn with him. So, I believe we can survive. Depending on who we I mean, we got the focus staff, so we're definitely going to survive that. We're life orbed with the Gengar, but I don't know. Grim's can be pretty tanky. There's a light screen. I mean, that was. I don't know if people run Brick Break, in my opinion. But, whatever. It's gonna drop him down to half. Who are you attacking? Max Rock Ball into Lando. Or not Lando. Yeah. Into. Uh, is it Tornadus? Okay, his name's in a different language, so I don't know. Yeah, Tornadus. Focus is gonna hang on. So, yeah. It's, uh, Forgot about the sand. Yeah, this is not good. I don't have anything to super. <laughs> I think you could probably just change it right back. Hmm. I don't know. What does this move do? This is uh, the user hits the target with a force of nature with half the target's HP. So this might be a move. Of course, no effect. I mean, I guess we'll just G Max Terror. Let's see if this does anything. the Coco to be faster than Gengar. His G-Max form is uh, when he comes out of the ground area, but he's just not the best Pokemon. It kind of stinks because I like him so much. The scary thing is going to do to us. Speed. Yeah. Quake into Tapu. Yeah. Lando's so tough.
I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like those comments because they're really free for you. Let's take out Grand Snarl. Scary things. Yeah. Wow, that did a chunk of damage, but the recoil is terrible on us. So what does he bring out? I mean, at least you drop one of his Pokemon, one of his mines are gone, so I don't know what he brings out next, but I think we're really far behind here to the point where I don't know if I can catch up. So the balloon is going to save us from the attack there, which is good. Never give up. Definitely never give up. I think we're just kind of behind right now. Why? Hmm. Well, we do have this move. Okay. I don't know. I want a flare blitz again. Lando. What was Maxi do? And then max lightning in the charge. This is our uh, attack. Oh, protect. He's going to protect. That's fine. Um, we're still going to do damage to him. And that's going to take out Lando. Okay, okay. So we're making a slight comeback here. Not too much going on. Protect is going gonna, gonna to do damage. It's going to do over half damage in the protect. Holy cow, that is crazy. That's a crazy amount of damage. That's the uh, tailwind's gone too. Torkoal the park. Pretty cool name. Charge. If he hits me with an eruption, we're in trouble. Charizard, Heat Wave, I think our Void's attack, and this shouldn't do too much damage to RK, never mind. <laughs> wow. That, that, that. Ugh. But we got the poison. We got, your boy got the poison. Okay. <laughs> and the berry's gonna activate. Let's see him give him. Some health. Earth power. Gengar, no! <laughs> Gengar, that's the problem. You just cannot take a hit. So yeah, GG to my opponent. That's two losses in a row. That, that is what it is, I guess. I think we just uh, made, uh, we made a bad read. Not, not, not that we made a bad read, we didn't, our, our beginning set wasn't, um, probably should have went something a little different, I don't know. We led with RK9, um, and then saved Coco for the back. Yeah, I think we just didn't lead right.
So hopefully, let's get into this third and final battle, and hopefully, we can pick up AW and not have any complete losing, losing record in the uh, video. All right, and we have got our third and final opponent. He's got a Scizor on his team, which is one of my favorite Pokemon for sure. Relaboom, Spectru, um, the <sighs> Thunderous or Tank. My brain's not working. And then the Palpatella and the uh, Kingdra for the Raincore. So, let's do Coco, Raichu, and With some late game speed control, maybe. Who should we be for the last one? I mean, I guess they all could be viable enough. Can't pick up a victory. I haven't played in I haven't mean, played Pokemon competitively like this since the last video, which was like three days ago, four days ago. It really takes a toll on you uh, when you're not keeping your skill sets sharp enough, your mind. When you play competitively and you work and you're playing and you're playing and you're playing, your your thought process becomes different. But when you're not doing it every day, practice practicing anything, especially this is you know, it's a game. It's a chess game, is what it is. You gotta keep your skills sharpened. I don't at all. At all. But we are gonna get our defense boost with the electric seed right away, which is good. Which is good. Let's see. I don't have anything that's really effective here. Oh, Snarl, huh? Super effective on Raichu. Special attack. Eef. Our special attack is down one. Which stinks for you. But that's okay. I'm gonna set up Tailwind. Him. Gonna go big with him though. Spectre, it's gonna be Spectre. Hmm. Oh, you were big with Thunderous. Thunderous, that's who that is. Okay. That's a good one. I don't know. Lightning. Okay, it's gonna take him out. Hmm. I'm not really digging this team too much, I'm not gonna lie. It's not something I I think it's because not something I would use, that's why, on a regular league. If I was competitively bad, I don't think I would use this team. Um Some of the mons on here are really good, but I don't think I would use 
I really think I would. Um, it's not something that I would. I don't know why. It's, it's not. It's not even the the two losses that I took earlier. Because when I was practicing practicing with this team, it's just not. Even as you know, yesterday and the day before, when I was practicing with it. I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't losing or anything. That's not the case. These are actually the first two losses I took with this team are on the ranked battle. When I was doing the casual battle, I didn't lose with it. it just it seems to be my mo. Um, We can will this. Actually, let's do this. G Max, Max Flair, and you, and Nuzzle to you as well. But he's probably going to try and hit me with a snarl. Again, to try and take out the Raichu to lower Arcanine's special attack, but I believe Arcanine is just a pure attack, so Snarl should do anything to him. Like, if you were going to ask Drake, said, Drake, would you run Arcanine on your team? I would probably say no, because there's other Mons out there that does what he does. For example, Incineroar does the exact same thing pretty much, and I think Incineroar is beautiful. I mean, he does hit hard, I will give him that, but I just don't I just don't know. I think the jury's out on Arcane uh, still. I just don't know. That's gonna, that hits hard. So we still have Tailwind. I don't know if he's gonna outspeed us. Everyone's gonna pop. Snarl. Let's see? And Raichu still hangs on. Okay. Yeah, so Snarl doesn't really do anything for us. We are gonna... We're on Electric Drain too. So I think Max Lightning does more. It's Max Lightning, you. And... Rising Voltage Spectrum. Let's spread damage and see what happens. Um, I don't know. It's gonna hit pretty hard though, it should. As much as I thought it would do, but that's okay. Okay, and Thunderous is gonna faint. So. Yeah, Snarl's probably gonna take both. Okay, no. Arcanine is gonna hang on. Special attack is it's like I said special he's, he's not a special attack. So those special attack drops are doing nothing to our you know? But it is gonna give a grim nigh. What kinda sucks. <laughs> Alright. So now we're down two mons to three. Pop That's actually I'm slightly okay with that because I should change the weather. Look at this. This is what we should do. Change the weather back to the sun. Wild charge that Papa Toad. Oh yeah, one hit! One hit pop toad! Recoil damage. It's so hard to deal with recoil damage. No matter if it's damage based on like uh, residual damage on burns or poisons or anything like that, that's hard to deal with. Um, like with the G Max Vulcalift moves or the Vine Lashes or the Fire, those, that's hard to deal with as well. Um, even residual damage on yourself, any kind, you gotta be careful when you're doing that because. You do that at the wrong time, and then you're gone. So, he brings out Kingdra. We were able to stop the rain, which is good. And we had two electric moves. We had Wild Charge. We'll just double up Wild Charge. Or do we protect?
double wild charge. He hangs on with the one, but can the second one take him down? Oh wow, very tanky. Hydro pump into Arcanine for the knockout. Okay. <laughs> He's life orb. I said we just acrobatics, just so. I don't need to do any repo damage here to myself. Um, it's just acrobatics, just to, yeah. The battle was canceled. GG, my opponent. So we did actually end up picking up the um, victory on the last battle, which I think happened in, this, in the last video, too. I think I need to play Pokemon more is this the key here. Um, it's just hard sometimes. I'm a stay-at-home dad with three kids, so my time to play is either at nighttime, um, when the whole family is dead, which is sometimes at like 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'm not trying to play Pokemon at 2 o'clock in the morning, my brain can't think like that. Um, or when my little daughter's sleeping and my other kids are finally calm enough to watch a movie or something to give me an hour to do this, to record these videos. So, it is what it is. Um, we were able to pick up the last victory, the last battle we were able to pick up a victory, the first two battles we did not. The first battle, we just clean, got out, played, um, and it's gonna happen. I mean, practice is everything, and skill to this game involves a lot of skill. Um, and I am will be the first to admit I am not the most skilled Pokemon trainer, but I am learning every day, which is the reason why I do these videos, because it gives me an excuse to learn. Um, we are coming to the end of Series 9 uh, pretty quickly, so hopefully Series 10 comes out, uh, or when Series 10 comes out, I'm going to be able to jump on that right away um, and get a good grasp. I came into Series 9 doing this and it was pretty late. Um, our ch the channel of DK Trading, come to the channel, check out the Facebook group. Um, that's where all our main action happens. The DK um, Trading Company uh, YouTube channel is two weeks old, three weeks old, so it's not even that old. Um, so if you do are, are liking any of the content you like, you're seeing on this channel, uh, give a like and smash that subscribe button. Check out the DK Trading Facebook group. I will have a link below for that. And I will also have a link below where I got this team, the video I got this team from. Um, and just remember, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Because in the end, that's all we have. Peace.